Greetings everyone. Today I want to talk about the Our Lady of Akita apparition that you may know about, and specifically about what happened to Sister Agnes Sasagawa. Okay, and I bring this up for a reason, and I will mention that just after I've gone through it. So let's look at uh, one of the messages that the Blessed Mother gave Sister Agnes. It was in July 1973, and the thing I want you to focus on is where she says, Is the affirmity of your ears painful? Your deafness will be healed, be sure. Okay, so Sister Agnes suffered from various issues uh, since childhood, and then later on she also became deaf. She lost her hearing. And she had these apparitions of the Blessed Mother. Um, uh, they were kind of like, she could hear the Blessed Mother talking to her th through the statue of uh, the Virgin Mary that they had there. And the Blessed Mother tells her, you will be healed. Okay, now how long does Sister Agnes have to wait for this healing to take place? Let's have a look at that. So if we go down to the third paragraph here, in October 1974, Sasagawa experienced a sudden improvement in hearing. Okay, so it takes over a year, it takes about a year and four months for her to experience that sudden improvement, because it didn't say it was gradual over time, they said it was sudden. It's like there was nothing improving and then suddenly it improved. Um, so I don't know about you, but me personally, if I was told by the Blessed Virgin that a particular illness you have is going to be cured, I would probably be thinking, oh, I'm going to wake up in the following morning, I'm going to be cured, or within a few days, I'm going to be cured. Like, I'm expecting it to happen immediately, because I'm looking at it from kind of time-wise in our human way. I want it to be immediate. If it doesn't happen for a few days, a few weeks, a few months, I start to, I probably start to question, think like, oh, well, the Virgin Mary told me I'd be cured and it doesn't seem to have happened. I don't think Sister Agnes did that. I don't think she questioned. I think she was humble and she kept her humility. Uh, but she had to wait a while. And then not only that, after the sudden improvement, in March 1975, Sasagawa began to experience violent headaches and hearing loss. The diagnosis of two hearing examinations in March 1975 was hearing loss in both ears. And then it says that the doctor, Sawada, verified that she was incurably deaf and issued documents for her to receive a state subsidy. So she waits quite a while to be cured, then she seems to be getting better, and then she gets worse again. Again, another person may have questioned what's going on here. We go on. In May 1982, Sasagawa experienced a sudden improvement in hearing. In June 1982, Sasa Sawada attested that Sasagawa's hearing was fully restored. And then it also says that the, uh, the hospital didn't certify it as a miraculous cure. That doesn't really matter because I don't think hospitals generally certify things as miraculous cures, maybe unless they're Catholic or Christian hospitals. But generally hospitals, they don't, uh, they might write, this was a cure um, that was unexplainable. They don't know how on earth this person was cured. They can't explain it medically or scientifically. But I don't think they would then confirm that it had to be miraculous. And yeah, so that's, that's basically what I wanted to show you. And the reason is because we can pray for something. Okay, so you can pray and you're praying, let's say for you... Uh, something you want to heal, you have a problem, you have an illness, a disease, a sickness, and you're praying for healing for yourself, and you're praying daily, you're, you're waiting weeks, months, you keep praying, and it is nothing's changing, and you can become impatient, and you can start to lose trust a little bit, like, is this going to make a difference? Uh, I know it happens to me, I'm kind of referring to myself a bit here. Um, Sister Agnes was actually told she's going to be healed. She wasn't praying and hoping that would God in his grace heal her, or maybe, maybe he won't, because people don't always get healed. Or sometimes they do, and it takes a bit of time. And as we can see here, this took a bit of time. But the point is, she she kind of knew she was going to, because she trusted Mary. Mary said, she's gonna, you're going to be healed. And it didn't happen for, for a while. And, you know, a person could start to think, like, okay, this was promised, and it isn't happening. Uh, but I, th I think she probably remained trustful and obedient and she was completely healed nine years later. So I'm saying if you're praying for something, uh, maybe for the healing of a loved one, 
and you've been praying for a long time, you've been praying for months or even a few years, remember like that might seem like a long time to us, but it isn't a long time in the grand scheme of things and in the scheme of eternity. So I wish us all a little bit more humility like Sister Agnes and a bit more patience and trust in God. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.